more likely to break out in game three of the NBA Finals. Now, we know the NBA Finals come on Wednesday at 8.30 on ABC. You do not want to miss it because I will be doing a lot of play-by-play in reactions of that game. But who will most likely break out in game three? Will it be Jason Tatum or will it be Kyrie Irving? Me, personally, it has to be Kyrie Irving. I think Kyrie Irving is more needed for the Dallas Mavericks than what Jason Tatum is needed for the Boston Celtics. Just my personal opinion there. And I'm going to tell you why. Kyrie has to play better. Kyrie's only averaging 14 points in his NBA Finals and only shooting 35.1% from the field. Got to play better. He has to play better. Kyrie has to play better, and he has to come along with Luka Doncic. He just has to. Because if Kyrie don't get it going, and I'm going to put this out there on the limb right now. I'm going to put it out there that if Kyrie Irving do not get it together in this series, the Mavs will be swept. You can say what you want. You could be mad at me. I do not care. If Kyrie Irving doesn't at least get 29 to 30 points in game three and have at least a double-double in this game, the Dallas Mavericks will be swept. Because Luka Doncic has this taint. Luka Doncic is playing with a chest contusion, and he hurt his leg in game two, and he had that team on his back in game two and kept it close because of him itself. Let's just be realistic. Even though Luka, you might say Luka might not have a defense, right? But the fact that if you look at all the four quarters that game two had between the Boston Celtics and the, the Mavericks, the, each quarter Dallas at least, least won by at least won the quarter by six points or lost the quarter by six points. So what does that tell you? Just imagine if Kyrie Irving was able to get 25 in game two. You have to think about it. What's going on, Armani? What's up, man? What's up, man? But if you just imagine if he scored 25 to 30 points on top of Luka's triple-double, the Mavs might have a tie series right now. But the fact that Kyrie Irving is struggling, I think is is – you have to look at it from a standpoint, for me, I think it's time for Kyrie Irving to bring the ball up. It is time for Kyrie Irving to bring the basketball up. You have Luka Doncic bringing it up, and he, don't get me wrong, I love Luka Doncic as a playmaker, but I think if you get Kyrie Irving in a pick-and-roll type of situation, it lacks, it, it doesn't lack the defense, but you're going to have to force Drew Holiday and force Derek White to go over or go under those pick and rolls every time. That means you have to make them do extra, extra work defensively if you put Kyrie Irving pushing the ball up and giving him in the pick and roll. You have to make adjustments. As Jason Kidd, you are a former point guard in this league. I understand Luka Doncic is your star player in this finals right now, but I think Kyrie Irving bringing the ball up, it will make it a little bit more difficult for the defenders like Drew Holiday and Derek White to keep going over and under those picks every single time. Now, the reason why I say not Jason Tatum and Kyrie Irving has to have a breakout year is because of look at the Boston Celtics roster. Anybody can step up. Even though that Jason Tatum is averaging 17 points in this finals and only shooting 31.6 from the field, Tatum don't really need to have a breakout game. When you have Jalen Brown that's playing well through the whole playoffs, you have a Derek White that's tenacious on defense and get, can get hot at any time. Then you have a Drew Holiday that actually led game two with 26 points, has a tena tenacity of defense and a great facilitator, and he can score at will. Then you have Al Horford that can shoot the three and definitely get greedy with the boards. You got Prezat, because that's Porzingis coming in, but we don't know the, 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 we don't know what's going on with Porzingis right now, injury-wise. But then you got Bruce Pitcher coming off the bench. You have Hauser coming off the bench. You have a lot of players for Boston that can step up that doesn't make it a breakout game for Jason Tatum. You just don't need it. The fact that he's averaging 10 boards a game in these NBA Finals, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with him averaging 17. Right now, we all know that Jalen Brown is the guy with the big contract, and he's the one that has to show up. That is a fact. He's the one that has to show up. Because if he doesn't, then that's a, that's a, that's a different story. That's a different story, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, but at the end of the day, you you got you got to play your you got to play your best ball. You got to play your best ball if you're the Dallas Mavericks and Kyrie Irving has to step up. If he doesn't step up, then we're going to have a long night, and the, and, the, and the Mavericks will be swept. You can say what you want, I do not care, but they will be swept. <laughs> they they will be swept. If you if you don't think that. But in, in my personal opinion, um, they said Kyrie would go 0 for 14. I, I completely disagree. I don't think he would go 0 for 14. I don't think so. I think he will actually play really well in game three. He's at home. They are in Dallas. And I feel like personally that you have to do better. You have you you gotta do better. And you have the most experience. Out of everyone, you have the most experience personally for Kyrie. You won a championship with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you wanted to get away from LeBron James. And then you go to Boston, and you don't, I mean, you get to the playoffs with Boston, but you just don't get over that hump. Then you go to Brooklyn, and Brooklyn was like kind of a, a debacle, in my personal opinion. It was kind of a debacle. Then you go to Dallas, and you get traded to Dallas. For with Luka Doncic, and I just feel like with Kyrie Irving, he has more to prove in his finals than Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum just got to win a championship. Kyrie already has that championship. We 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 not going we not going to put that there. So for me, who has the most breakout game in Game Three? Um, Dallas is the best situation for Kyrie Irving. It is, but Kyrie Irving has to step up in the NBA Finals, or they will be swept. I said what I said. What's going on, Yankee 26? What's up, Yankee 26? We greatly, greatly appreciate it. If everybody that's watching on Beagle right now, make sure you send a bean and don't be mean. Make sure you send a bean and don't be mean. Um, Arku says that one thing about Kyrie, he's been there before, down 2-0, and had two bad games in the finals back in 2016. Exactly. And me personally, in 2016, he should have been a finals MVP. But near here or there, I'm just minding my business when it comes to that. 